Hello students, I wanted to go through the uh, section review. So go over uh, module 13, uh, 15 and 16 review. Um, we're gonna be, have the test, I'm gonna move actually the test tomorrow, Friday, that will be your last assignment of the year. So first of all, just to point out, when we're graphing one, two, three, four, we're gonna look and say, is it growth, is it decay, or is it log? If it's growth, we're gonna use H and then A plus K to get my first point. Um, and then H plus 1, then A times U plus K to get my second point. If it's decay, same thing, H, A plus K to get your first point. For my second point, it's H minus 1 and A divided by B plus K. For both of these, our horizontal or asymptote is at Y equals K and Y equals K. If it's log, then we're going to go ahead and use this uh, reference point, 1 plus H and K, and then B plus H and A plus K. Um, the other thing to point out to you guys um, as we go through it is... Um, to know that it's growth, growth is if your B value is greater than 1. So growth is B is greater than 1. Decay is if your B value is less than 1. So on this first one, my, uh, identify A, B, H, and K. So A is 2, B is 2, H is 2, two H is opposite the sign, and then K is 1. So then we go ahead, uh, first reference point is my H value, so 2. And then A plus K, so that's 2, 3. My second reference point is H value plus 1, so that's 3. And then A times B, so 2 times 2 is 4, plus K, which is 5. And then I graph this point. So I go over 2, 3, is that there? No. 2, 3, not there. I go down to C and D. There we go. C and D. And then I check them. Over, over 2, up 3, not there. Over 2, up 3. This is the only one that has it on there. It has a horizontal asymptote at my k value, which is 1. So y equals 1. Have the horizontal asymptote. 3, 5. So over 3, up 5. And we have it. So d is the answer for number 1. Go to the next one. So you look at it. We want to identify, is it a, b, h, or k? Uh, or excuse me, is it growth or decay? So now I look at my A. My A value is one third. My B value is one third. My H value is zero, and my K value is zero. So if I don't see an A value or B value, it would be one. If I don't see H or K, they'd be zeros. So now this is a decay because my B value is less than one. So then my first value is H, which is zero. And then A plus K, so one third plus zero is one third. My second reference point, which, which would be uh, my, this value minus one, so it would be negative one. And then it'd be one third A divided by B, one third plus one, divided by one third plus my K value of zero. So one third divided by one third would just be one plus zero, which would be one. Okay, we'd have a horizontal asymptote at zero, my k value. So I can check, hey, yeah, I have a horizontal asymptote right there at zero. Then I check the point negative one, so negative one, one, that's the good there. Check this one, one, one third. So that one looks, A looks good. You can check the other ones and see if it works. Um, so again, we're checking a negative one, negative one, one, not there. Negative one, one, not there. So. For number two, my answer would be A. Going on to the next one. So now we come through here. Again, I look at my B value. My B value is one half. So my A value is three. B value is one half. Uh, H value is negative one. And my K value is negative two. My B value is less than one. So this would be a decay. So then my H value, so H, negative 1, and then A plus K, which would be 1. Then uh, my second reference point would be A divided by B, so 3 divided by 1 half is 6. Uh, so I should go, this would be negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2, and then I go A divided by B is 6 plus K, so 6 plus negative 2 is 4. So we get these two points, and then we have our asymptote at y equals my k of negative 2. So then we go ahead and we graph it. So negative 1, negative 1, 1, not there. Negative 1, 1, not there. Negative 1, 1, not there. So then we scroll down to uh, d, and we check that one. 
So negative 1, 1, looks like we got it there. Negative 2, 4, we got it there. We have our asymptote at negative 2, so D is my answer. For number 4, now if you look at it, we have log form, so now we're going to this right here. We're still going to identify A, B, H, and K. So we go log. Okay, A is in front of my log. Since it's not there, it would just be a 1. B is 5. H is opposite the sign, so it's positive 3. And then my K value is at the end, so that's 3. So we go ahead, and now we can go ahead and go through it. So it's 1 plus H is my first reference point, so 1 plus H would be 4. And then my K value of 3, that's my first reference point. Second reference point is B plus H, so 5 plus 3 is 8. And then A plus K, which is 4. I have the horizontal asymptote at, at 3, at my H value. So I'm looking, okay? I can see at 3, okay, I only have, it's either B or C. This is where my vertical asymptote needs to be at 3. So then I check. I need 4, 3. So over 4, up 3. That looks right there. And then the other one's off. So it is uh, C is my answer for that one. For number 5, it's another uh, log form. So we go ahead and do the same thing. Again, just have these notes right by you. We're going to identify A, B, H, and K. Again, there's no number in front, so that A is 1. B is 6. Uh, H is positive 1, opposite of the sign, and K is 5. So then we go through 1 plus H, so that would be 2. And then um, my K value of 5. Then it says B plus H, 6 plus 1 is 7 and A plus K, which is 6. We're going to have a horizontal or vertical asymptote at X equals my H value of 1. So again, I check. I should have a vertical asymptote at 1. So I know this is an option and this is an option. So it's either B or D is my option. And then I want 2, 5. So if I go over 2, up 5, not there. Here I go over 2, up 5, I have that point. And then you could check. You go over 7 and then up to 6 and it's, it's right there. So D is my answer for that one. So those are how you go through the first five problems. I use this as your, um, use this, you can have that on your notes as you go through the test. Make sure you show your work, turn your work into me uh, through the test. Then we go to the next set of ones. The next set are all pretty similar. It's basically, you're saying, we want to know what is this equal. So I said equal to x, and I'm going to write in exponential form. 7 to the what power equals 1. Okay, so now you can kind of use this as a guide, 7 to the negative fifth. Okay, any number to the 0 power equals 1, so my answer is D. I come down here, we want to know what is this equal, so I'd say 4 to the what power, 4 to the what power equals 1 16. Anytime I get equals a fraction, I know it's going to be negative, so 4 to what power equals 16? Well, that would be 2. Since it's a fraction, it's going to be negative, so my answer would be C. Next one, same idea as we go through it. We want to know what is this equal? So what is that equal? So it's 3 to what power equals 81? And so you can check it out. 3 times 1, so you get 3 to the third power. So it would be 3 to the fourth power. If you come through here, it would be equals what? So 2 to what power equals 4? It would be 2 to the second power. So it would be C. Now, on number 10, we want to simplify this. So as we simplify this, we're going to switch it to exponential form first. So we're going to say, so we want to get this by itself first. So we have to add that 5. So now we have 10 to the x minus 5 equals 10. So now it's 10 to the, so we're going to switch it to log form. So that's my base, what I circle is my base, log base 10 of 10 equals x minus 5. Now we could check and see if this simplifies. If it simplifies to a whole number, then we're good. So on your calculator, you can go log base 10 divided by log base 10, which equals 1, equals x minus 5. So then we would go ahead and, oh, that's plus 5, plus 5. 
So then we subtract 5, and it's negative 4. So x equals negative 4, so c is my option. Here, we want to again get our exponent by itself, so we add 6. So we have e to the n minus 1 equals 98. So if it's in e, base c, we're going to use natural log. So we take the natural log of 98 equals n minus 1. Now if I do this, I'm not going to get a whole number. I type that into my calculator, and if I were to type it in, I'm going to get, uh, so natural log of 98 um, is, it's 4.58, so on. Okay, so this, if I typed into my calculator, is 4.58, so on. It doesn't give me a whole number. So in this, we just want to write it, and uh, we're not going to, we're going to leave it in an exact form. So we just leave it as natural log of 98, add 1, so it would be the natural log of 98 plus 1, which is option A. So some of these, you'll see the, uh, uh, so it's 10, 11, 12, wants us, to, so those three want us to leave it in exact terms, and then on 13, 14, and 15, we're going to get the exact solution. Or I shouldn't say, we're going to round with those ones. So we come to this one. We want to do the same thing. We want to divide. Okay, so I want to get this, whatever has the exponent by itself, so I've got to divide by negative 6. So negative 9 divided by 9 divided by negative 6, that would be 33. So 6x plus 5 equals uh, 33 over 2. So then we switch this into log form. So log, whatever I circle, that's my base of 33 halves equals x plus 5. Again, in my calculator, I could write this as log 33 over 2 divided by log of 6. If I do that, I'm going to get, I'm not going to get an exact, or I'm going to get a decimal approximation. So if I go 33 divided by 2, and do the log of that, divided by 6 log. So this is equals to approximately like 1.56, so on. So it's an approximation. So because it doesn't come out to exact answer, I'm not going to write it. All I'm going to do is solve now. So I subtract 5. So it's log base 6 at 33 over 2 minus 5 equals x. So this is the exact answer. So that would be b. If you come down now, we're going to estimate what this is. So I divide by 6, I divide by 6, and so I have 10 to the uh, 9x equals, um, that's 2.333 repeating. So next, um, as I go from there, we're going to write this in log form. So I'm going to say here, 10 to the, so it's log base 10 of 2.33 equals 9x. Again, on my calculator, I'm going to go log of 2.33 divided by log of 10, and I'm going to see what that equals. And so that equals 0.3679. So again, do that on your calculator, make sure you get that, and then divide by 9. And so we divide by 9, we get 0.0. So it's 0 0.0409 equals x. So it is c as I go through. The last two. We're going through the same process. I want to show you if there are kind of two unique things that happen in this one. So we want to get this e to itself. So I add the 5. So I have e to the m. Minus 4 equals 0. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So if I'm working base C, then I switch to natural log of 0 equals n minus 4. If I plug this into my calculator, I get an undefined. If it's undefined, then we have no solution. Last one, we divide by 7. So I have 4 to the 2m equals 1. So then I go ahead. Switch it to log form. So log base 4 of 1 equals 2m. So once again, I do this in my calculator. Log 1 over log 4, and this is equal to 0 equals 2m. 
Zero is okay. So if I get undefined, that means no solution. If I get zero, that's fine. I divide by two. Zero divided by two is zero. So my answer is A is zero. So that is the review. You'll have the test tomorrow. That will be the last thing uh, that you have for this year.